Welcome back to another episode of this Just In with Justin. Today, got a really cool package in the mail. In fact, a little foreshadowing here. I've got a little tape measure. We're gonna see just how tall this package is because it can't even fit in the package. Look at this. It is the Govi Glow Table Lamp. Just came in today, pretty cool. So let's get cracking. What do we got inside? Standard like it or not, standard user manual. We don't use either of those. Got some styrofoam packaging. Oh, 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 oh. Check this baby out. Box on the floor, don't need you. Some packaging. All right, this looks like it could be important. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Get rid of that. This is the controller and the power. Now, one thing I will say I noticed on the box, let's get the box again. RGB. Unfortunately, it's not going to be quite as cool as the Aura is, because the Aura is RGBIC, but RGB, if you haven't watched all the technologies and the videos that I've made, RGB will tell you that it can only hold one color at a time, essentially. It can't fluctuate between a lot of colors like the IC chip can. But who cares about that? Let's keep busting into what we got here. Pretty little table lamp. All right. And da 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 da. What are we gonna do? Let's measure how tall this baby is. 15 and a half inches. Mm, I'll translate that into centimeters and put it below, but I only do inches here in the United States. So it's a pretty tall lamp. Pretty cool. It's got a little USB C plug in the back of it, which means that the controller is gonna be embedded for the most part. There's no buttons on it because the buttons are right here, if you haven't seen them. It's got a pretty good little solid rubber coating on the bottom of it so it doesn't shake around. We'll go ahead, unplug this baby, untwist it. Come on. All right. Plug it in and see what we've got. Whoo, pretty cool. So we've got an on off button. We've got a plus to make it brighter. We've got a minus to probably make it dimmer. And we've got, eh, sort of looks like a, a Govi logo twice, which is probably gonna cycle us through different colors. But the coolest thing about most Govi products, guess what? Dun, dun, dun. We're gonna fire up the app and let's see what we get. We're gonna go into the app like normal. We're gonna hit add. We're gonna hit the little Bluetooth icon up in the top corner and do 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 the H6050. It's the magical product name of this. We're gonna to connect to it, see what all we can do with it. It's gonna say, give us a name. We're gonna go ahead and call this fancy new table lamp. Asks for our Wi-Fi username and password. We go ahead and put those bad boys in. Connected to Alexa so I can control her with voice activities. Hmm. All right. Let's see what else is going to happen here. Connected successfully to Wi-Fi. And now, oh, we've got a firmware update. Let's go ahead and update this guy. Fixes some bugs. One thing you'll notice with a lot of the Govee products when they ship, they try to fix and address a lot of the issues that might come out in the factory. So you're probably going to have to update it more likely than not. Not a big deal. You can see his mine's updating here up in the corner. Or maybe it's up in this corner, I'm not sure which way I need to point, but whatever way I put it in the video, you'll see that it updates itself pretty quickly. Keep it within two meters. Again, for those of you that are in the United States like me, that's six feet. So you can keep it within huh, two lamp distances. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade here. We'll fast forward through this part. The device restarts itself, and we can see that the update is successful. Now, we're on the latest firmware. We can see 1.00.10 if you're watching this video and it's fairly recent. And we've got the ability to change some interesting things with it. So we can check out a scene here. We'll change it to the forest mode. The forest is green. We can change it to breathe, which is obviously going to use one color and go up and down multiple times. But again, because it is that RGB technology and not RGB IC, you will only ever be able to use one color at a time. We've got colors, we can sync it to music, we can do, oh, look, as I'm talking, it's hearing me speak. That's pretty cool. We can do a lot of cool things, but for right now, my initial thoughts, 
I like it, Gobi, but it'd be cooler if you could make it RGB-IC. That being said, that's another video here from this Justin with Justin. Check out the Gobi lamp. I've got the link below. Enjoy, and see you next time.